So Hannah, your pre-season, how has it been so far? Yeah, been good. Um, we've had a lot of tests, obviously, with games, um, but it's been good. It's been challenging for us. Um, like I said, played a lot of games, but it's been good for us. Um, a lot of minutes, which is obviously nice. I feel, feel quite fit now. I think ready for the season. Because you personally, you are playing lots of minutes. You started every game. You've pretty much featured in the, the, the entire of all of those games. So you must be feeling great. Yeah, good. I feel really good, actually, this pre-season. Um, a few seasons ago, I couldn't even get through a pre-season without getting injured. Whereas now I feel like I'm in good stead um, leading into the season. And obviously injury-free, playing a lot of minutes. So, yeah, couldn't be happy. Yeah, how important is it to get a nice, clean pre-season in so you can, like you said, build yourself put yourself in the best position to succeed for the rest of the campaign. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, it's always good, especially for myself. Obviously, I was in from the f first day of pre-season, whereas obviously the other girls have sort of been staggered with it being the Euros. Um, but for myself, it was always important that I was injury-free, um, kept myself good, strong, um, physically fit, and I've been able to do that just this pre-season. Talking about the girls, we've had seven new signings come into the building this summer. How have they settled in? How's the, the mood in the camp? Yeah, really good. Um, obviously, that was me last season. Um, and I felt like the girls welcomed me with open arms. So I knew this season we obviously had a lot of signings. And like I said, I couldn't, like the girls couldn't be more welcomed. Um, they've settled in really well. Um, obviously building that relationship on the pitch as well um, has been good getting the minutes for them um, but like I said with it being the Euros obviously it's been a staggered pre-season but like it has for everyone uh, but yeah just building the relationships on and off the pitch is a big big thing yeah as you said that was you so recently so is is, do you, is that something you can use and help these new players because it wasn't so long ago that you were the newest player yeah definitely but like I said the girls we've got in this team make it so much easy so easy for people to come in and literally fit right in straight away um I think Toulouse trip helped um obviously going away you're with each other 24 7 for the whole week so that's a big thing obviously um in the game um, and like I said, the girls are fitting really well, especially on the pitch. Yeah, that's a loose trip. How was that for you? Because like you said, we're all there, living, breathing, we're in the same environment 24-7. And it was the first time that we had all the players back, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was nice. Um, and like with, even with Aoife being out injured, it's nice for her to come along with those trips as well. So she's not excluded or doesn't feel out of the group. But um, to lose trip was really good. It was a big challenge for us, obviously, playing against two of the probably one of the best, two of the best teams in the women's game. Um, a big challenge for us, but I thought we held our own in both games. Um, and it brought out, like I said, a lot of challenges for us, but also good things. What is the messaging from Mark then? Because we know that we just missed out on top three last season. We obviously know that is, of course, the target, but is it literally one game at a time? We win this one, then we move on to the next one, we win that one and so on? Yeah, definitely. We can't be thinking too far ahead because then you get complacent and then you start not doing the basic stuff. Um, so yeah, for market is just one game at a time. Um, even in pre-season, it was like, okay, we've got this game. We had PSG, we had Bayern. It was like, we just focus on that, what we need to do in those games. And then that's when I feel like we get the best out of each other rather than thinking too far ahead. And like I said, getting complacent. And what position are you now? Are you left back? Are you right back? We're seeing you both sides. You know, where, where do you yeah. prefer to play? Or are you just jumping in um, wherever it's required? I think... Probably left back, um, but I think I reckon probably right back whenever needed as well. I think the good thing about myself and Honor is that we can both play either side. Um, so I think that's obviously it's all. I've always been told it's good to be versatile. Um, so I'm happy, obviously, to help the team out. I guess by playing left back, um, but also challenges myself, which I love as well. The season now is so close. So we have Tottenham at Tottenham on that first Saturday of the season. How excited are you just to get going now? Yeah, I can't wait. Obviously, it's been a long pre-season, especially for myself being in from day one. Um, but I feel like we're more like we're ready more than ever. Um, and like I said, it's at the men's stadium, which is obviously more of a, a bit more exciting. Um, and I feel like what the England team did in this Euros is only going to promote the game and build, um, build up build it up even more. Because yeah, that's where we want the game to go, isn't it? We don't want these men's stadiums just to be every now and again. Ideally, you want it there every week, don't you? Yeah, we do. Um, but of course, we've got to make sure we're selling out Lee as a big thing. Um, of course, it's nice to be playing at the men's stadiums. Um, 
and obviously I feel like we're going to be getting a big crowd which is nice um, but yeah we obviously just hope that that brings crowds to the actual women's stadiums as well. Yeah you mentioned there about the Euros and the spotlight that's put on the women's game as a whole you know how do you think that will transfer now into into the BWSL? Um, I think it would be massive um, I think Spurs have put out there already sold about 30 40 odd thousand tickets which is obviously amazing um, but of course that puts a lot more obviously pressure on us to perform in those games and obviously you've got big crowds but for the likes of myself that's where I feel like we thrive thrive on that sort of sort of stadium and stage um, so yeah it's definitely exciting and I guess you can't really thank the girls enough really for where they put the women's game now. Talking about Tottenham then specifically, they're always well organised. They've spent money this summer. We've we've had a few players that have joined us from Tottenham. Is it too is it too early to look ahead to that game? Are you already thinking about what to expect from Tottenham, or will is it next week when it really ramps up that preparation? Um, probably next week, but um, of course you've always got your mind on. As soon as the fixtures come out, you're like, as soon as you see the first team, of course your mind's on like, right, okay, what we got to do to prepare for that? Um, and we've got, I'd say, the best backroom staff to be able to put us in the best possible position um, to face Spurs but yeah they've definitely strengthened this season um, but so have we so I think it'd be a good game and yeah definitely one we want to win. And it's live on Sky and that's what it's all about isn't it like you said in front of big stadia and in front of the world watching on the telly. Yeah um, and like I said I feel like the group of players we've got everyone will thrive thrive off that um, it's exciting, obviously, to be playing in the men's stadium, live on Sky Sports, but we just got to look at it as it's just another game. It is just another game in the WSL. Um, and like I said, it's definitely this one we want to win. Just finally then, for you now, as you build up to the season starting, you've had a solid pre-season. Do you set yourself goals for the rest of this campaign, personally, professionally, where you want to be? Um, for me, it's just making sure my standards are high every single training session and game. I want to be the first name on Mark's team sheet every week. Um, but then I need to be making sure that I'm putting in performances to be put in that position. Um, so, yeah, for me, I don't want to put too much pressure on myself. I kind of just want to take it game by game, training session by training session. Um, and, yeah, just sort of, I just want to be, when I'm happy, that's when I play my best. So that's a main thing for me.